What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we are going to talk about how data is being passed around in Symfony, which is through the MVC framework. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. In the previous video, I've touched on MVC a bit and I said that it is definitely important to have a decent understanding of MVC. In coding, MVC is a design pattern or a software architecture which stands for three layers, the model, the view and the controller. When using MVC, you will structure your application by separating the domain, application and business logic from the rest of your user interface. Before we dive into the connection between the layers, let's dive into them separately first. The first one is the M of model. The model layer manages the fundamental behaviors and data of the application. It can interact with the requests from user input fields, respond to instructions, and even notify observers in event-driven systems. Then we got the view. The view is probably the easiest one because it's the user interface of your application. What you'll be doing is pulling in data from the database in the model and translating it into data that you can use in the view. Next up is the controller. And the controller will take HTTP requests, so user inputs from the browser, and gets the right data out of the database, validates user input, and eventually sends a response back to the user. In the model, you don't want to use view or controller code. The other way around as well, you don't want to perform SQL queries inside your controller, let alone in your view. All these components are defined as the MVC design pattern. In my personal opinion, Symfony is huge because it's using the MVC design pattern. Well, let me rewind that. Symfony contains the MVC framework, but it does not constrain it. This might have been a lot of information on your plate already. So let's look at a small example. Think about an e-commerce. Well, you have the user that wants to buy a product. He will start off by looking at the view, probably press on a button to add a product to his shopping cart, which will then interact with the controller by sending an HTTP request using the browser of the user. What the controller will do then is responding to the request by interacting with the model. It will basically say, well, hey model, can you send me information about this specific product? Then the controller has some value stored somewhere, which then can be sent back to the view. Finally, the product will be displayed back to the user. Don't get hung up on MVC too much, since you'll be learning it along the way. This will at least give you a simple approach to the rest of this course as we talked about views, controllers and models. That being said, this was it for this video where we went over what MVC is and how MVC works. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.